What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. A lot of people ask me, why jailbreak in 2015 or 2016? Why jailbreak your iPhone on iOS 9? Well, let me tell you, with this video, I want to explain 30 good reasons why anybody should still jailbreak their iPhone, why it's still relevant. Even though Apple adds a ton of new features every year in the new iOS version, there is still so much you can do on a jailbroken device that you can't on a standard non-jailbroken iOS 9 device. And let me tell you, they're not just gimmicks. These things can literally change your life, change the way you use your iPhone permanently. So without any further ado, let me introduce you to the world of jailbreak and why you should jailbreak your iPhone with 30 good reasons. Now, the iconic face of jailbreaking is the world of customization. A lot of people think you just jailbreak to customize. Well, it's sort of true. With a jailbreak, you can do so much on so many levels, not just functionality, just looks, everything. I mean, literally, there is so much I could tell you guys about this, but I'm just going to show you a few little examples. Uh, changing your control center up, changing the look and interface and functionality of it. I mean, here's Apex, hide apps behind other apps. There is so much much so much simple little things like this zeppelin change your carrier logo simply just like that i mean hundreds thousands of uses for it next up is theming a lot of people jailbreak to theme you want to apply a personal touch to your iphone and with theming you can do just that apply a custom skin to a whole bunch of apps even from the app store give your iphone a look that nobody else has and really some of them can be so damn satisfying Make your iPhone come to life using animations. You can add them to so many areas where they previously didn't exist. This gives a fluid, you know, live feeling to your iPhone. And there are so many uses for them. This is just a few examples. Page turning with a barrel or a cylinder can give your pages a lot of life uh, scrolling. There are so many animations you can download. The ability to use split screen multitasking on the iPhone. So rotate your phone, slide over, and now you have this clean interface to go ahead and multitask side simultaneously on two different apps. So this increases productivity. It can increase your media intake. Really, there are so many possibilities for this. And I absolutely love just how well this works. This is probably one of the best, most well-made city of tweaks. Ever since the release of iOS 7, people have been asking Apple to allow them to customize the control center, set your own custom toggles, and even add more in there. Well, with the jailbreak, you can do that right now. No need for waiting on Apple to add features that take forever ever to do so. Now you can get a cleaner, customizable control center. I mean, it's inevitable. Every year, Apple is releasing new products and new features and new little software tweaks on those new products that make us want to upgrade, even though they're not very significant. Well, with a jailbreak, you can easily get those new features on older devices, such as 3D touch, peak and pop, live photos, front facing flash, you know, the ability to use the keypad as a trackpad. No need to upgrade every year. A lot of the best features in iOS iOS 9 are exclusive to iPads. I don't think that makes sense. Get 4x4 folders on any iPhone or get the ability to play picture-in-picture -picture video using an iPhone with this tweak. It is so well made, very well optimized, and works super well. I don't see why Apple doesn't just bring these to iPhones, but using a jailbreak, you can get those iPad exclusive features on your iPhone. One of the biggest gripes with iOS 9 is the lack of a night mode. Well, with a jailbreak, you can easily reduce eye strain with a night mode that's customizable color-wise and get a dark mode throughout iOS. It seems that the longer iOS is around, the more Apple is filling it with useless features we'll never use, such as Spotlight Search or Siri Search on the side. Well, you can actually remove unnecessary features in iOS, speeding up the iPhone in the process. There are some minor annoying things about iOS that you could do away with, such as being able to clear your entire app switcher with one button, the ability to reboot your device instead of just being able to turn it off, the ability to hide the volume HUD up in the status bar. Know when someone's right about to text you using this tweak that allows you to see when someone starts typing using an iMessage. Really cool to know when you're right about to receive a message. The camera is one of my favorite features on the iPhone. Let's make it better using a jailbreak. Take pictures from the home screen faster without needing to open the camera app. Use and disable flash while recording video. 
the ability to pause and resume recording without needing to cut and start a new clip. Also, the ability to quickly reverse cameras by tapping on the display and go to your front facing camera. Another huge reason jailbreak iOS is the ability to customize social media applications. With Snapchat, using a tweak called Phantom for Snapchat, you can spoof location, make your friends think you're in some entire different area of the world instead of where you are, get custom location filters from different areas. That is a really cool uh, little trick. I've actually tricked many of my friends with this to make them think I'm in a different area. Really cool. The ability to save videos, uh, discreetly or photos without the other person knowing the ability to go into incognito mode while watching other people's stories so they don't know change fonts there is so much using this and you can even upload directly from within snapchat and uh, go ahead and post or send photos or videos to other people same goes for instagram facebook many other applications you can modify applications from the app store to do your bidding it's really cool just how much it changes your user experience bluetooth use on the iphones is very restrictive restricted you can actually unlock the functionality and transfer any file to any iphone or samsung device ios is no longer a closed ecosystem actually unlock your files and be able to look at them transfer them modify them with an actual file browser using a jailbreak if you hate having to deal with itunes you can easily drag and drop music just by connecting your iphone to a computer or skip the computer altogether manage all of your media without the use of itunes or even a computer Jailbreaking can dramatically improve the performance of your device by removing or shortening the animation duration. So look at this. With Speed Intensifier, your device feels like it's on fire. Things just load. They open up so much faster. Jailbreaking can go above and beyond in improving your battery life, even further than Apple's new iOS 9 battery saving feature. There are so many different strategies for it, so many methods of maximizing battery life. Now, if you have a 16 gigabyte device, why aren't you jailbroken yet? Jailbreaking can allow you to maximize the storage in iOS by removing so many files you don't need, even over the air updates that Apple loads on your device without your permission. If you have unlimited data like me and you want to be able to download apps that are over 100 megabyte, even bypass YouTube's quality restrictions over LTE, you can do that with a jailbreak. Here in the USA, major carriers charge you $20 to $30 per month to be able to tether your device even if you have unlimited data well no longer you can get free tethering with a jailbreak you can increase the security of your device using a jailbreak i call you pro will take a picture of someone who uses your iphone and incorrectly attempts to enter the passcode also increase the security on individual applications using bioprotect and touch id for easily restricting access to individual applications emulators this is a really big one run nintendo 64 games playstation 1 playstation portable nintendo ds games there are so many emulators and best of all they cannot be removed by apple they're permanent now i love getting a new iphone they always come with new features but with a jailbreak you can make the best of those new features with 3d touch you can make new shortcuts for different applications you can actually enhance touch id with virtual home use it just by tapping on it extending the life of the home button and for android users that have just switched to iphone or people that like certain aspects of android jailbreaking makes it easy to have the best of both worlds get android features or even android look on ios using jailbreak tweaks and i'm not kidding jailbreaking can actually raise the value of your device it can also make someone a not purchase it. it depends on who your buyer is so basically in the past i've noticed that if a jailbreak is currently not out and you do have a jailbreak on your device you can usually get up to 50 more dollars for it when selling it now it's no secret apple takes features from the jailbreak and implements them into future versions of ios apple needs jailbreaking and when you jailbreak you're a pioneer you're trying out new features that'll certainly be added later on to new versions of ios it's just the feeling of trying something new something that someone else is going to be using but using it first is awesome and if you've ever wanted to give apple the middle finger jailbreaking is just that apple's been fighting a war on jailbreak for as long as you can remember basically since the release of the original iphone with jailbreaking you're giving apple the middle finger you're going against the grain and trying out your own thing it's never been easier to unjailbreak if you don't like it you can easily unjailbreak using cydia impactor however little disclaimer it doesn't work just yet on ios 9 when it is updated though you will know when just checking however it's still easy to unjailbreak you can restore 
or using iTunes, just back up your data beforehand. And lastly, jailbreaking has gotten so much simpler throughout the years. Now it's just a one click process and you're done. There's no reason not to jailbreak because it's complicated. Really, it's not. It is super easy. And guys, there you go. There are 30 good reasons why jailbreaking is still relevant in 2015 and 2016. Now, when an iOS 9 jailbreak is released, and it will be very soon, this is the video I want you guys to watch and know why you should jailbreak and why it's still around. So hopefully with this video, I did give you a good idea why people still jailbreak and why you should. Be sure to check out a lot of my jailbreak tweak videos. I have a lot on my channel that would certainly entertain any new jailbreaker. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your jailbreak, guys. Peace.